Sergeant Gaither, would you please tell the jury whether during your investigation of events that happened in 2015 as they related to IF Gang and YSL, you had an occasion to interview Quindaria Zachary on August the 5th, 2015? Yes. All right. And at the time that you interviewed him, did you call him to be interviewed or did he or someone on his behalf reach out to you? Yeah, there were a couple people on his behalf that reached out to me, okay. stating that he wanted to talk to me. Okay. And I'm going to... Yeah. Out of microphone. I'm going to give you one that might work a little bit better. Okay. And had you left your number with family members of his, as you have in other cases, if they wanted to reach out with you? Yes. And is that the way um, that that family member contacted you? Yes. All right. Was Quindaria Zachary brought over to the Atlanta Police Department from the Fulton County Jail? Yes. All right. Now, is it the custom that when a person comes in to see you, you make any observations about whether or not they're in any condition to talk? And by that, I mean if someone's sloppy drunk or if they're obviously under the influence or... Yes. And if they are in no condition, by your estimation, to talk, do you continue to talk with them anyway, or do you send them back? Or No, do I don't do? talk to anyone that's under the influence or uh, under distress or anything. We just revisit it at another time. Okay. And when you spoke to Quindaria Zachary on August the 5th of 2015, did he appear to be in any physical distress from withdrawals or anything like that? No. Okay. Did you see any sign that he was under the influence or in pain or anything like that that would no. have prohibited him from clearly understanding questions that were asked? No. At any time, did you force him to sit down and talk to you? No, it's... People were calling me nonstop for like a week and a half, two weeks. So I just kind of took my time and let him sit there a minute and uh, picked him up when I was ready. Okay. And at any time outside of that interview room, did you convey threats? Did you tell anybody, if he doesn't speak to me, something bad is going to happen? No, ma'am. All right. Did you make any promises to him outside of that interview room through no. other people? No. Okay. And inside the interview room, did you tell him, let me back up, are you allowed to tell people, if you do this, I will get your charges thrown out? I'm not allowed to do that. And did you tell Quindaria Zachary that? No. Now, to be clear, during the course of his conversation with you on August 5th, 2015, at some point did he broach the subject? of whether or not you all were going to be able to help him out with any of his charges. He did. Right. And did you tell him at that time that you were going to get him thrown out? No, I did not. All right. Your Honor, can we get access to the Zoom? Unfortunately, I don't have access to the Zoom right now either, and I had just typed my um, team to let me in. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if somebody's listening up in my chambers, they could let uh, Miss Love and the court in, please. Normally, Miss Persfield does that, but she had to step out and handle another matter. So while they're doing that, I'll continue with the questions. When you spoke to Quindarius Zachary in August, had you already gotten? Um, you remember when you talked to the jury last time about the Dexter Montgomery shooting? Yes. All right. And do you remember, um, speaking to them about the surveillance footage that you were able to look at from that shooting? Yes. All right. Now, during your interview with Mr. Zachary, did you show him surveillance footage from the Dexter Montgomery shooting? I showed him still shots, not actual footage. Okay. And when you say still shots, would you explain what you mean? Uh, basically screen grabs or images of people that were depicted in the actual video 
We just took a picture of that particular person and printed it out onto paper. Okay. I'm going to show you what I believe has already been admitted as states 308 Yankee. And I'm going to ask you. There was the name. Mm -hmm. If you recognize states 308 Yankee, and Your Honor, this does not have the sticker affixed to it. This is the exhibit that was labeled 308 Yankee. Okay. So I'm showing this to her, and okay. I'll get the exhibit. Yes. Okay. Now, when you showed this image to Mr. Zachary in the interview. Um, okay. And for the record, it was 503 Yankee. 503. And it, it, was and it that has, already admitted? It was. Okay. And are, I'm sorry, just like for housekeeping, are we going to get an exhibit sticker on it or? Yes. Okay. It's actually the one that we admit it does have the exhibit sticker on. Oh, it's a copy of the, okay, yes. no problem. And so you spoke with Mr. Zachary. Did you have any reason to believe that he was at or anywhere around the Browns Mill Road area at the time that that image was captured on the surveillance footage? No, I didn't. Okay. Would you tell the jury what it was that you showed him that footage for, why it was that you showed him that footage? Uh, to help further that investigation to see if he can identify uh, people that we uh, had not previously identified um, involved in a Dexter, Dexter Montgomery shooting. Okay. We knew that he was affiliated with uh, persons that we were able to identify. So uh, while we had him there, why not ask him? Who was it that he was affiliated with that you were able to identify as being involved in that Dexter Montgomery shooting? Uh, Walter Murphy. Okay. What did you know about Mr. Zachary's affiliation or relationship with Walter Murphy? Uh, we knew that both of them claimed to be YSL, so uh, I assumed they knew each other. Okay. And did Mr. Zachary confirm knowing Walter Murphy? Yes, he did. Did he call him Walter Murphy or did he use another name? He called him DK. All right. I'm going to show you, and Your Honor, because it's a digital image, um, counsel for defense has been provided this, but I want them to see what I'm walking to the witness with. Okay. May I be permitted to show them what I'm showing the witness? All right. All right. Miss Knight, that was five. I'm going to show you what is 531 Yankee, a video on the screen. And I'm going to ask you, have you reviewed this video prior to coming in? I have. And is it a fair and accurate copy of the interview that you conducted with Quindarius Zachary on August 5th, 2015? Yes. Did you see any alterations or material changes? No. Okay. Your Honor, the state tender states 531 Yankee as evidence. All right, that's admitted um, with, as, as we already discussed. All right. Your Honor, I ask permission to publish. You may. 